We have two game-changing developments in the story of a potential WWE sale. And one of them is Saudi Arabia being interested in buying the company. I'm Umar Q for Real Take Wrestling. Let's talk about it. So the first piece of news is that WWE hired JP Morgan, the investment banking firm, to advise on potential sale talks. That shows that not only are they serious about a sale, but they are willing to have these people on standby, pay these people on retainer to advise when they're negotiating, when they're talking to NBC Universal, Amazon, or even the government of Saudi Arabia, as Michael McCarthy and AJ Perez of the uh of front office sports, excuse me, reported Saudi Arabia's public investment fund is emerging as a possible bidder for WWE if the promotion puts itself up for sale. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the uh, public investment firm, that is essentially the Saudi Arabian's government's international like investing uh, fund. That is what they do is they buy assets all throughout the world. Live Golf is probably the biggest piece, uh, biggest asset they have that's been in the news lately. That new golf league that they started where they were paying people hundreds of millions of dollars to come over and, and play in that league as a competitor to the PGA. And now it looks like WWE could be next on their list. And for those of you who are wondering, well, can they afford it? You know, is this a realistic possibility? There are two things that make Saudi Arabia buying WWE not a, just a possibility, but a, a very good likelihood. Number one, the unlimited amount of cash they have. Like, it, it is, it goes without saying that their current deal with WWE is is a, a, a very, it, it's an important aspect to them, but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't cost the Saudi Arabian government a lot. It doesn't cost the public investment fund a lot. Because right now they're paying WWE 10 years, $1 billion. They have in their coffers over $600 billion to work with in this investment fund. So it's not a matter of can they afford WWE. It's just a matter of how far would they be willing to go. Now, on top of it all, you have the existing relationship they have. And that's my second point. I think the WWE at the end of the day is going to sell to someone with whom they have an existing partnership with. And I think the, the the lead three people are NBC Universal, that's my number one. The Saudi Arabian government is my number two, as much as it pains me to say it. And number three, I think, is Disney slash Fox, whatever you want to call it. Those are the three leading people. Of course, you could get you you could get maybe an outlier like Amazon. I don't think Netflix is going to be in 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 the conversation too much. I know that that if Netflix were to buy WWE, it would be big for them when they start their eventual live streaming service. Like that would be big to have those events, to have those the the weekly television and all that kind of stuff. That being said, I I don't think that's gonna happen. I I, I legitimately believe that it, it is going to be with someone they have an existing relationship with. Now, this obviously, the, the potential of Saudi Arabia buying WWE, it comes with many ethical questions. Because it's not a question of, can they afford it? It's not a question of, is it a realistic possibility? Both of those, yes, it's a realistic possibility and they can 100% afford it. Bigger question is, how is this going to look to your investors? How is this going to look to your, your image as a company if you sell to a government that many view as a tyrannical, almost mafia-style government, and is that going to alienate a certain sub, uh, subsect of your fan base? I know personally, and again, this is me speaking personally, I, I would have to make a decision. If Saudi Arabia bought the WWE, I would have to make a decision of whether or not I watch the product, whether or not I even cover the product, genuinely. And it, 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 and I think that's going to be something for a lot of people. The, don't count that out. That, that, that does mean something. And I think you're going to see wrestlers as well 
also may have to make a choice there. And, 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 and I'm not saying that, like, I know for a fact that there are some wrestlers who, who, who would, but I mean, there are wrestlers who've been critical of the WWE's relationship with Saudi Arabia to begin with. If we're talking about the public investment fund actually buying the company, I'm telling you, it will alienate some people. Now, granted, there are some people who are going to always watch and, and watch anyway because at the end of the day, they're in it for the wrestling and, and all that stuff, which I love too. But at the same time, I, I think that there are a lot of hurdles there. Now, you also need to think about Saudi Arabia. Why would they be interested in this? I mean, the the biggest reason they'd be interested, I think, in this is because they have been for, they being the, the, the government of Saudi Arabia, I want to be clear. The Saudi Arabian government, the public investment, they've used the public investment fund to buy all sorts of things. I talked about Live Golf earlier. They're, they have a majority share in um, Newcastle United. And I think this is this is really all part of their goal to reach that Saudi vision 2030, which I've talked about on this channel and others where I, it, it for all intents and purposes, it, it very much is a, it very much is a PR campaign to, to wash away the bad image of the country. And, and mo, mo, more so the, I mean, mo, all really the government, it's really just to wash away the sins of the government, the sins of the royal family, and and people within that family. And it is it's going to be interesting to say the least. Obviously, we will cover this from a news aspect. I will I will not stop. I will never stop covering WWE from a pure news aspect. However, from actually watching the product and covering the product, if this were to happen would need to think very seriously about it because this could very easily turn into a PR campaign for Saudi Arabia, which we, we've seen play out. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. Is Saudi Arabia going to buy the WWE? Let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released.